Ксения Евгеньевна, расскажите, пожалуйста, про магию воздуха и магию порядка. Master Ksenia, tell us please about the magic of the air element and magic of order. A very short question. Magic of the air element works with information and with information only. Information related not just to today, but past information as well. Air is good when it is uninterrupted. Because if we have some air today and not tomorrow, then that isn't air anymore, but a guaranteed lethal outcome. Same with information. It has to be continuous. Meaning a long memory directly connected to the proto-foundation order. Because the proto-foundation order doesn't collect memory per se, but carries and develops the primordial principles of how to make this memory prolonged. Another thing is that this world's hierarchical structure, take the caste system, doesn't assume that everyone will have a long memory. On the contrary, everything is built in a way to divide people and castes according to the size of their memory. It is considered that the longest memory between all the castes of the human world, the bloodline memory, is possessed by the caste of rulers. A slightly shorter memory, but still sufficient to form some chains of cause and effect relationships and draw correct conclusions, is possessed by the warrior caste. And an even shorter memory, although still sufficient, is possessed by merchants. It is at least sufficient to remember the reality that surrounds them during their lifetime. A merchant should remember his life from at least a reasonable start until the end of his professional activity. And the shortest memory is considered to be that of the laborer. It is supposed that laborers live according to specific natural periods and that they mark certain milestones in their memory in connection to some external factors, such as, when was this? Ah, yes, last year, when there was fire, that's when that was. And when will this be? Well, as soon as Easter is over, we will go and plant the fields, that is when. This is approximately how laborers build their plans and form personal memories, according to predetermined milestones. It is in magic that memory is considered to be the longest, and it is the proto-foundation order that carries this information. When a consciousness is expanding in a magical key, it should not only possess a strong bloodline memory, but a reincarnation memory as well. Whereas for the ruler, the bloodline memory is enough. These are the principles laid in the proto-foundation order. These principles, they are carried around by the wind, as if forming different air currents, forming different echelons. Different castes exist on different air currents. On some of these currents you will find magical consciousness. It is believed that a magical consciousness is able to exist in all air currents. It is able to take them in and understand them all. Air magic deals with information, its correct distribution, its correct assimilation and, of course, the development of personal abilities to exist along any of the aerial ranks. A laborer wouldn't need the same information as a warrior. He wouldn't understand it anyway. It is too much for him and he will not receive it. A warrior wouldn't need the same information as a ruler, because it will disrupt his principles. Basic principles like, for example, those of honor and loyalty, whereas a ruler should in no case possess all these principles, as he has completely different goals and tasks before him. And similarly, a merchant will not be interested in information possessed by a warrior. He will also not understand it, it is of no use to him. This way, the magic of the air element deals with redistribution of informational currents and filling them up with informational density into a unit of time, which enters the consciousness of each stratum. This is the function of the magic of air. I hope that I made myself clear.